Hey, are you still freeloading from my parents at their house? Don't you think it's getting time for you to get out of that place for me? What? Freeloading? What are you talking about, Maggie? I understand that I am living with your parents within their home, but I don't think what I'm doing here could be considered freeloading in any way. Not even close to freeloading, actually. Well, from what I've seen and heard, you're freeloading there. <laughs> You aren't even a part of my family, and yet you've been living off them for the longest time now without giving anything back to anyone in return. To me, it seems you have a bit of a misunderstanding about this whole situation here, but me being here and living with your family was not my choice. After my husband and your parents talked for a little while, it was decided that I'd come live here with them. But I'm pretty indifferent on living here with them or not, so... So now you're going to try and make it look like you're not wanting to live there? <laughs> I know for a fact that you're lying right now. And what makes you so confident that I'm lying to you about everything going on over here right now? Maggie, can you tell me what the heck you want to say to me right now? Well, I'm going to be coming home to my parents' house starting tomorrow, and we'll be living there from now on. Huh? You're coming back? You're coming back to live with us here? You're the one that's freeloading off everyone, so don't you even try to say that I'm coming back to live there with you when it's not your place or family in the first place. That place is my parents' house. My house. So I'm allowed to come back to live there with them whenever I please. And I completely understand that, but coming back to live here starting tomorrow is too soon, and this is the first I'm hearing anything about you coming back here. Are you coming back here by yourself to live in this house? What about your family? Are you an idiot? <laughs> what? I'm not coming back there to live on my own. I'll have my family come with me as well back to my parents' house. But when you say your whole family, uh, that means you'll be bringing all three of your kids along with you as well, right? There's no way this house can fit everyone in it comfortably. Well, that has nothing to do with the freeloading parasite living off my family's money. I'm the one that gets to choose what happens there in the end, right? So go ahead and shut the hell up for me, would you? Hm. But I'm living in this house as well, so I think I have the right to express my opinions on this. And right now, this house is way too small to have the amount of people living in it that you say there will be. Then how about you get out of there? Ah, I think it's the perfect time for you to move into that little doghouse now that it's opened back up. Are you kidding me right now? Well, I'm just telling you what's going to be happening starting tomorrow. If you want to get out of that house, then be my guest and get lost. My family and I will be coming to live in that house, and there's nothing you can do to stop that. So any kind of complaining you try and do about it will be ignored. Well, I'm going to talk with your mom and with Nate about this. But I'm going to tell you right now that it might be harder than you think moving into this house with your three kids. I really have no idea why you're wanting to move back into this house again without any prior warnings to us, but... <sighs> Nate, have you heard about how Maggie thinks she can come back to live in your parents' house again? No matter what she's trying to do or what she thinks, that'll be impossible right now with how small this place is. Huh? Why would it be impossible? You're asking me? What the heck, Nate? There's everything to do with this place being too small as it is, as well as those things to do with the payments on the house. But that place is also my older sister's place that she can call home. So you can't say no or anything like that to her. Both you and I do not have the right to do that to even her. No, I think we have the right to, actually. And another thing. It's not just my older sister coming back, but her husband and family as well. So paying for the place will become a lot easier, right? Having them back to help us out. Her husband works at a pretty decent job, I've heard. But do you not find all of this a little bit strange right now? If he was working a decent job and living a pretty normal life with his family, then why would they all be choosing to move back to Maggie's parents' house? I have no clue about that. But Nate, to me, having the amount of people in the house grow even larger is not going to work. Even if you say it won't work, that's not going to change things in her mind. You are my wife, and this is my parents' house. So, 
You're gonna have to do your best to deal with all of this. But I'm already doing my best to deal with things here as they are. If anything, you should be trying a little harder to fix things. Anyway, go and tell her that it's not going to be possible to live here with all of us, okay? We've already moved back into the house. But you didn't even bother giving any of us a hand, you useless dog. Huh? Are you really telling me that you've moved back into your parents' house already? I had told Nate to tell you not to move into the house yesterday, but it seems he didn't bother telling you anything after all. And I told you that trying to have a say in any of this would be useless, didn't I? We already moved into my parents' house, and there's nothing you can do to stop any of us now. But bringing all three of your kids along with you to move into the same house that I'm living in right now, that's not going to go well for any of us. Did you even stop to think about how things would work out after you moved into the house? You're being pretty dang annoying for someone that doesn't have to pay a dime or do anything to live in the house. Someone that's not going to help anyone in the house out with anything should go live in the doghouse. So you plan to keep treating me like someone less than your own family unless I leave the house then, huh? Do you really think you can get away with saying I have no right to say my opinion regarding the house? Well, that seems to be the case right now. <laughs> you are nothing more than the wife of my little brother, so you live in the house with the least rights out of all of us. Well, anyway, I've already moved into the house now with my family, so you can give up now. My family wants to live in this house now, so you and my little brother better not do anything to disturb us. And I'll make sure of that by having you moved out into the doghouse to live. I'd rather just go back home to my parents' house. Is that so? Well, that's even better for us, actually. I really can no longer manage sitting here watching you continue with that crap that ends up affecting all of us in the end. And you just expected that I'd be the one having to move into that small doghouse? You have no right saying that to me when you don't even understand what's been going on at your parents' house for the longest time now. At this point, you are being such a brainless fool that I have nothing left to say to you. So if you really want to come back into this house without listening to a word I've said, go right ahead. But I'm going to move back to my parents' house instead of staying with all of you. I'm not sure what'll happen because of this, but you're going to be the one responsible for it. What a great little speech. <laughs> Now get the hell out of here. You have nothing to do with my family. <laughs> well then, I'll be on my way. I'll be back to get a lot of my bigger things later, but for right now, I want to be far away from all of you. I really don't even have the drive to come back to that house right now, so I'm going back to my parents when I'm finished with all my tasks. Now, goodbye. Hey, Abigail! What the hell have you done? What do you mean, what the hell have I done? All I remember doing was leaving your parents' house just as you asked me to. What kind of complaint could you possibly have for me now? This is not some kind of complaint. Right now, I'm in trouble over here. I want to know why the hell my parents and Nate are starting to panic so much after hearing about you leaving our house. Oh, now they want to freak out? <laughs> it's been a few days now since I got up and left everyone with no calls from them, so I assumed they were all okay. They told me that you had gone back to your parents for a little bit to visit them. But while you've been out of the house back at your folks' place, the bill for this house came in the mail and my parents started to panic because they need you back here right now. Where the hell are you and what are you doing? As I said, I've gone back to my parents' house for good. And I'm sure me doing such a thing would get your family panicked. After all, I was the one paying the bills on that house each month. Huh? You were? Did you think that me being Nate's wife meant that I wouldn't be forced to have to pay the bills around there? Well, I guess you wouldn't have expected that, considering you never knew a thing about the current situation in that house. Why have you been the one paying the bills on this house, though? What about my dad? What about Nate? Years ago, your dad got too aggressive with his gambling addiction and lost all of his money on some terrible bets. And as for Nate, he was laid off from his job last year, and ever since then, he's been saying he's been trying for a new job. The whole reason for us going and living with your parents is because of their terrible financial situation. And since I was able to support both Nate and I with my income alone, everyone assumed that I'd be able to handle two more people and their house. 
And ever since the day we had to start living with your parents again, I've been the only one working and bringing in any sort of money. Every single penny I've worked so hard for has gone into paying for everyone in the house and the bills. Did you not know anything about that? What the hell, Abigail? I never heard a thing about that going on here. Well, whether you heard about it or not, I don't care. Anyway, this all happened at the perfect time for me. What do you mean this happened at the perfect time for you? Well, living in that house with everyone was really beginning to drive me up the wall. And for the longest time, I've been wanting to divorce your brother. <laughs> I'm amazed that all of this had to happen right now, though. But, hey, that's all perfect for me. Huh? You're telling me that you've been wanting to divorce Nate for a long time? Well, yeah. And why wouldn't I have been wanting that? I've been working my butt off just to give all my earnings away to both my husband and his parents. And Nate has abused the current situation to the point he doesn't even care to work anymore instead of just going out to play all day. All I've been for your family is their gosh dang ATM. I highly doubt that's the case. Well, anyway, because of what's all happened, I'm going to be living with my parents now and divorcing Nate. Thank freaking God, though. Getting the chance to leave so soon. <laughs> Maggie, thank you for giving me this chance. Giving you the chance? No, that's not what I wanted to give you. So wait, you're going to leave my brother now, too? I've already gotten in touch with a lawyer about it, and the word that I'll be leaving him should be arriving very soon. Maggie, I don't have the will to be a part of your family any longer. Living with everyone has been the worst part of my life thus far, so I'm glad I have this chance to leave. <laughs> Does Nate know about all of this, though? For the past few days, he and my parents have all been freaking out because you haven't come home. I'm sure. The only way they were all able to live was with the help of my money. <laughs> You're telling me that my own brother had to rely on you? I am. I bet if you asked him about that right now, he'd say the same thing. How does that sound? How about you go and talk with him about all of this? But maybe. Maybe if he were to learn that it's all because of you that I've finally been given the chance to divorce him, well, Nate might just end up going off on you instead of me because of that. <laughs> Wait a minute, Abigail. I never knew a thing about any of this. I didn't mean to have you go and divorce Nate because of this. I just wanted you to know who the boss in this family was by picking on you a little. Well, that was a great way to get me to realize I needed to get out of that house, so thank you, Maggie. <laughs> please, please don't say you'll move back in with your parents for good. Huh? Why are you saying all of that to me now? <laughs> you were the one saying that I was a freeloading stranger this whole time at your parents' house. And then you continued to tell me to move into the doghouse out back once your family got settled in. If I had to make the choice between living in that tiny and run-down hut or going back to my parents' house, of course I'd choose my parents' house. <laughs> I think that we had a bit of a misunderstanding back then, though. When I was telling you all of that, I didn't know how you were the one paying for this house and my family. I'm so sorry for not learning about all of that beforehand. Look, I've just apologized to you. Now, you can forgive me, right? Maggie, this is not about me forgiving you or not. So the apologies that you're giving to me right now mean nothing to me. There's no freaking way, though. I'm your husband's older sister. You are meant to listen to me and take every word I say as law. I'm leaving him soon, though. So your word being law and all that doesn't mean crap to me. <laughs> How about you start to take responsibility for what you've started? I mean, I already listened to most of what you said a few days ago, so that should be enough for you. You told me to leave the house, and so I did. And because of that, I'm able to divorce your brother now. Are you trying to say that this is all my fault then? Um, not trying. Uh, it is all your fault. <laughs> it's because of what you'd done that I'm finally able to wake up to days filled with feelings besides that of stress. Have you learned now that you can't take back what you say? Wait, at least forgive me this one time, Abigail. You know that I never did any of this out of hate towards you, right? Since you know that already, then we can make up now. What are you talking about? Are you telling me that if you never had any intentions of being rude to me, then it's okay to say whatever you'd like? 
If that's your way of thinking about all of this, maybe it's time you go back to elementary school with your three kids and start the hell over. <laughs> you need to learn about thinking before you speak. I am apologizing to you for all that, though. So stop talking about me like I'm some child. Come on now. You come back here and make up with Nate for me. Make up with Nate? There's no merit to that for me, so no way. <laughs> huh? Abigail? I'm tired of being looked down on by all you jerks. For a while now, I've done my best to fake a smile and act as though none of it bothered me. But now there's no reason for me to do that anymore. I am over this whole show of being a part of your brain-dead family and all their BS. Abigail, were you always the kind of woman to talk like that? I'm leaving your brother for good now, so who cares if I'm the nice girl anymore or not? And at this point, I'm tired of dealing with your crap as well, Maggie. You actually think you could sweep all your crap under the rug now and have me come back to live with you? <laughs> no freaking way, you dog! <laughs> but if you don't come back, I'll be next! Having to live in that small house was already tough, but then you came along with your three kids, thinking it could work out. Stop playing around, Maggie. Your husband has a good job, so why the hell do you have to come back to live with your parents and brother when he can pay for you all to have a nice life somewhere else? That's not going to happen. Why not? My husband has taken on a lot of debt, and at the moment, it's all been going downhill for us. So our reasoning for coming back to my parents' place was to get help from them. Oh? <laughs> So you just wanted to come back as little parasites to feed off your family, then. <laughs> this is not the time to be throwing words like that around. Well, no matter what you have to say about things now, I've had enough. Why? Do you not feel bad about any of this? Nope. I'm just a stranger. <laughs> and I'm about to divorce your brother, so of course I don't feel a dang thing. <laughs> Heck, you just told me you were bringing those kids of yours into your parents' house to be cared for by us, right? I mean, cared for by me, right? That's so far beyond impossible for me that I would collapse from disbelief had I stuck around to hear that face to face. <laughs> now go run along and get back to joining your family as you all go to hell. Ah, and I'm sure that you'll have to start paying off some loans soon as well for them, so good luck! <laughs> In the end, the payments on the house and for the family had stopped, and everyone there was in a huge pinch. And as for Maggie and her family, who had been surrounded by debt, they weren't able to achieve their goal of leeching off her parents and started to slip down the slippery slope they'd been teetering on the edge of. Abigail was able to get a divorce from Nate, and that was followed by her being able to finally cut ties with that whole freeloading family. But since Abigail was no longer around, Maggie began to join her family in panic, followed by her finding a job herself, and then starting a new life of having to work hard all day and come home to caring for her three kids and the rest of the family all night. The cycle will continue like that for the rest of time, and I'm sure neither Maggie nor the rest of her disgraceful family will find a way out of it. At least in Abigail's world, she'll soon be able to forget about that whole family and move on to a fresh life where she can start saving up her well-earned money instead of handing it out to freeloaders. I'm sure Abigail will always be thankful for what Maggie did to help set her free. Do your parents work for a factory in the town? How could you lie to us? They do work for a factory. You didn't lie. What? You said your parents were executives when my son brought you to meet us, right? Yes, they're the owners of a factory. That's true. Then why didn't you say so in the first place? Because you said they're the executives. I imagine them to be running their own company like us. I don't see a big difference between a company and a factory, though. Shut up! You guys are just some factory owners. I'm amazed how shameless you are. Someone like you doesn't fit in with us. You guys better get divorced. What? Getting divorced? Why would we? Of course you should. Are you saying no? Are you trying to boost your status or something? You're shameless. I can clearly see you're after our assets. No wonder you and your parents are just factory owners. I didn't marry him for anything like that. What? No matter what I tell you, you won't leave us, right? 
You're completely after our assets. What a liar. You're not a part of our family. Now that I know your true intentions, I won't let you do as you planned. What do you mean? If you're not getting divorced, you're gonna be our servant from today. What? Of course, because you're the lowest position in our family. Well, not really family for you. For starters, I'm gonna get you to be a servant at my spa. For free. I was about to recruit someone. You came at the right moment. Of course you'll say yes, as you're a family member now, right? What? So I am a family member now. What? Did you say something? N nothing. If you don't want to leave, this is the required condition. Okay. Hey, Laura. Is it true that you started to work for Charlotte's Spa? She told me to, yeah. She said she gets you to work for her for free. Is that true? If it is, you don't have to work for her. You can reject the offer. Thank you for worrying about me. But I'm fine. I got plenty of time, too. I kind of wanted to see where this would go. I'm thinking this is a good opportunity for me. Oh, yeah. But you can't let her get you to work for free. It's completely fine. I'm doing everything for the sake of the company run by your family. But... When we were about to go out of business, you helped us get through it. I've never forgotten about it. I believe it was a chance to give you something back. So you don't have to worry about me at all. I'm fine. You're such a useless servant. You're the only one that hasn't met your quota by this month. Get 30 new customers by the end of this month. I got something to talk to you about. About conducting that kind of forced labor in quotas. We've been getting complaints from our customers and staff. I suggest changing the current management policies because you're overdoing it. Huh? Who do you think you are? Don't tell me what to do. I have my rights. I know you don't know this, but I've been donating $30,000 to your parents' company every month. Huh? $30,000? A poor girl like you. Enough with your stupid lies. I hate someone like you that tries to act like a billionaire. Then can I stop donating? Go ahead. You still have a chance to make this right. This is the time when you should reflect and change things. You're being cocky now. Your advice is terrible. <laughs> Stop being cocky until you restart your life and get equal as me. So, can I stop the funding? Are you sure about that? You'll be the one regretting everything. I'll make you regret it for telling a lie and speaking up to me. Mom! Why are you shutting down my company? That's mean! Get it up and running again! It's impossible. We're not getting the monthly donation anymore, so we have no choice. Of course I shut down the company that doesn't make much profit and is full of problems. No more donations? What the hell? That's not my fault. It's your job to supervise the financial stuff, right? Charlotte, you're the one who stopped it. What? What did I do? I didn't do anything. Stop making stuff up. I'm not. It's just that you don't understand anything. Face the reality now. What? You told Lara that you don't need the funds, right? We were thinking it was about time to shut down the company before. But Lara felt she could do something about it, and she was investing in helping us out. That's a lie, right? <laughs> No, it's not. That girl really was investing? It can't be true. A poor girl like her can't afford to send $30,000 a month. She's an investor. It's true that she helped us to get through a financial crisis. An investor? Where did she get that much money? 
when her parents were having a tough time. For the sake of them, she learned how to run a company and started an IT company while she was still a college student. An IT company? Was she the head of the company? That girl! She succeeded in that, and she sold it. Using the money from selling it, she became an investor and did well for herself. When she got married, she learned of our situation and was financially supporting us. No way. Since she has already stopped it, Dad and I are going to retire. For real? D stop joking around. You can keep it up, right? You got a couple of companies. To tell you the truth, we've been in a tight spot recently. I'm about to shut down the rest bit by bit. Stop deciding things on your own. At least keep my spa as it is. I've been devoting myself to it for all these years. Protect me as a parent. I don't want to mix private life with business. M Mom? Your company should have recovered. If you had succeeded in that, you could have made it even bigger. You're the one that ruined everything. N no way. Since I let you supervise everything, you're an executive. Everything is on you. Um... Didn't I tell you that many times? To think carefully about how to run your own company. Uh, I did. It was supposed to get better from now on. Stop making excuses. There should have been many other people that gave advice to you, right? But who went and ruined everything without listening to them? Why don't you get it? This is what you caused. Recognize how incapable you are already. Y you don't have to get mad at me that much. All right. I admit that I failed to run my spa. I'm giving it up. So, give me another company at least. What? I don't care what it is. I'm begging you. You got some other subsidiaries, right? You can at least keep one of them. I don't care which one, so give me one. Unfortunately, no. What? They'll all be shut down. I feel sorry that I couldn't live up to Lara's expectations. Lara? Why are you mentioning her? Ugh! We're getting nowhere! I'm going home now, so explain to me so I can get it. Lara! Were you really investing in us? I heard about it from Mom just now. Yes, I've told you that. But you didn't listen to me. No matter what I told you, you kept mocking me. I really didn't think you had that much money. Because you're a daughter of some poor factory owner. Yes, indeed I am. But still, my father-in-law and mother-in-law and even my husband welcomed me. I didn't tell them anything about my investments. Still, they accepted me. That's why I've been supporting them until now. They accepted me without knowing anything about my financial situation. I wanted to help them somehow. Oh, is that so? I'll welcome you from now on. Shut up! Wow, how could you say that? You look down on me and my parents. My parents worked very hard with pride. No matter how hard it is, they didn't give up. You made fun of them, and you ignored me too. I'll never invest in your company ever again. Oh, please. I said I'm sorry. I didn't know anything. I'm really sorry. So, for the sake of my parents, can you forgive me this time? Please! Look who's talking. I didn't know you were investing to us at all. I'm sorry for treating you bad. I'm so sorry. Hmm. So, can you forgive me? You will, right? You'll keep supporting us, right? No! What? 
They all said they wanted to retire, but I still kept supporting just for you. But now that I know you're incapable of running a company, it's just a waste of money. What? Why would you say that? I was watching over the shop you owned while I was working for free. You really suck at running it. There were tons of times your customers had complaints and you didn't support your employees whatsoever. A company like that should go out of business. Or rather, I should shut it down. How dare you! Just accept my apology! You've had your chances. Okay, so you want to act all tough. I've had enough of you. What? If you don't keep the funding, I'll tell my brother to leave you. He's always loved his sister since we were kids. He always listens to me, no matter what I tell him. <laughs> so if you want to stay married, send the money. I will not! What? You're gonna get divorced, okay? I will tell him, are you sure? He said he's not gonna do that. He said he doesn't love you, nor feel anything about you. Huh? He's always listened to me ever since he was a kid. Stop making stuff up. You don't know him like I do. He said the only reason he listened to you was because you would threaten him if he didn't. But now, the situation has changed. He doesn't have to listen to you any longer. <laughs> no way. There's no way he really said that. I'm calling him now, but he's not answering. Is he there now? He knows it's going to be a pain to talk to you. He said he won't talk to you. Wait a sec. No way. This can't be real, right? Hey, Laura. I thought I could have a good relationship with you as a family, but now that seems impossible. Don't ever text me. He said he's gonna block you. No way, hold on! We need to talk about it, as a family! You told me that I should restart my life. But I guess that was my line. What do you mean? Oh, and by the way, my husband's company is rapidly growing. Why is his company okay? Mom said she was getting rid of every company. His company doesn't belong to her. What? He started his own company on his own. He succeeded in it, and his company is about to get listed. In other words, his company doesn't have anything to do with you or your family. No way. So that's it. We're going on our own path. Good luck with you. Goodbye. For good. Wait! Please, Laura. Don't leave me. Let me join you too. After that, Charlotte lost her company, and her parents cut their ties with her. And so has her younger brother. She lost everything. She got out of the house for the first time, and she had no idea what to do. She ended up in debt and moved to another state. No matter how hard she works, she has to pay for her debt. So, it's as if she works for free. She's paying for what she's done. It's best not to treat someone terribly. She couldn't do that, so this is what she deserves. <laughs>